Yo, what's good, Sneaker Log? It's your boy Karen A. checking back in with a new sneaker review, new video. Today, you can see we have some classics from Nike. These are one of the best trainers to ever come out. One of my favorite trainers. My favorite trainers of all time, pretty much. One of my favorite sneakers. This shoe was worn by Bo Jackson. Uh, one The best, I say arguably, the best athlete of all time. I mean, he's right there. A lot of people say he is. In my opinion, he is, but, you know, that's up to debate. But uh, this is, I mean, of all the sneakers that he did endorse, I would say this is my favorite one, this colorway and everything. This is just one of those sneakers that, you know, I really like a lot. And, um, you know, this is my second pair, actually, that I cop. So um, I just wanted to share this review with you guys. I, I cop these, like, about a month ago, but... Just didn't get around to doing the review, and um, I decided, hey, why not? Let me uh, pull these out and do a review on them. So here we go. As you can see, um, we got perforations in the leather. This these perforations pretty much go around the whole sneaker. So throughout the sneaker, you got this little blue leather ribbon. Also, um, underlying this orange ribbon. Also back here on the toe box, you got the. Um, Right here in the front, it's like a smooth leather, and um, you also got this gray. It's like a gray nubuck strip that wraps around the whole sneaker as well. Underneath that, on the midsole, so you got a red. You got the orange um, little strip. It's kind of like a little design that goes around the whole midsole. So then you have a white midsole so with the air unit. And then on the back, you got Nike embossed over the the gray Nubuck strip. Like a perforation up there on the top near the ankle. And then down, you got the orange still wrapped around the midsole over the white. And a little white leather above that. That's a side view, the other side. See up top here, you see the eyelets. Uh, you got the orange and blue with the shoelaces. Still see them perforations and then the little orange um, little ribbon strip that goes up to the eyelets. Just a nice sneaker overall, man. Uh, not really too much to complain about these. Classic sneaker. See the shoelace? It's white. Then the tongue is white. Also, you got Nike embossed in the tongue at the up, upper over in that orange. So... Yeah, these definitely hot. Um, I like to wear these. I haven't worn these. These are still dead stock. But um, I have an older pair, which I'll show you guys right here. They're pretty beat, though. So, yeah, there they go. That's kind of the reason why I wanted a new pair, because I pretty much beat these up. But, you know, they're... Um, it's still pretty, um, still pretty, the new ones are still pretty, um, pretty much like these. They didn't really change too much. I would just say the production is better. At, uh, it's, you know, they, they kind of were produced a little bit better than these were. I can tell. But, you know, like I said before, Nike has kind of stepped the game up with production over the years so it's not nothing that surprises me uh, I had other SC's since SC High since um, those those came out I copped the other ones back in my older pair back in like 2009 and they came out back in 2009 2010 so um, it's not really it's not really a surprise that um, the those these would be better production than that pair because I've seen the improvements. I have other SE that I've copped since, and I would say everyone that I copped like the 2011s, like everything after 2010, 2011, I, I saw a little um, improvement in production. So, uh, what I wanted to do also was share, show you guys another sneaker that kind of um, you know ties in with the air trainer SC high and that's these right here these are 
Air Trainer SCs as well, but these are like 20, I believe 2010s, maybe 2009s. I can't remember exactly. And um, the thing with these are, they were, Nike came out with these to kind of commemorate these. And they just added some modifications, as you can see. It's not really a high, it's more like a mid. And um, these are like the, this is like more the special, special edition of them, of the Air Trainer SE, whatever year it was, 2010 or 2009. And what they did was they um, put, they, you see the leather is brown. So it's kind of like supposed to symbolize like a, like a football or I think it was a baseball glove. I can't really remember. Um, they had like three different colorways for this little pack they came out with, the little special pack they came out with. And, you know, it's leather around the sneaker. You see here the where it was leather on the other ones. This is a new book. And then here the material is fly wire up right here where it was something different. It was the orange and it was like, I can't really... I don't really know what that material was that was on that um, that strip on the originals. And then, you know, this mostly leather-based shoe, pretty much. And then you have Nike embossed back here, stitched in the back. And then I thought that was pretty cool. It says 1990 to 2010. So it's kind of like a 20-year um, commemoration of the shoe. thought that was pretty cool that... Got a new air unit on the back. And um, I think you can see. Let me see if I can put it up for you guys. It says number 16. The number 16 down in the insole. So, um, also right here on the. You see it says Bo Nose. And it says 1989. That was pretty much the campaign slogan for Bo Jackson's back then. So, this is a little history lesson for you guys, my younger audience. But, um, yeah, man, that's all I have with the with this video. And um, thank you guys for checking in and checking it out. Air Trainer SC High. If you, I mean, if you're trying to find a pair, you should be able to find these. Uh, I don't think they flew off the shelves or nothing like that. I think, really, a lot of people were, weren't really up on these. But, um, you know... I think they're dope, so, I mean, if, you, if you're trying to get a pair, I know sometimes people ask me, yo, where can I find a pair of these and stuff like that, you should be able to find these in the store still, um, I doubt they're sold out, I mean, I would actually be surprised if they were, because I don't really think there was a big hype about it, which is good, because it allowed me to be able to get a pair, and, um, yeah, so, like I said, man, um, as always, you know, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down in the comment box. Let me know what you think about these Bo Jacksons. If you like them, if you don't like them. If you have a pair, uh, what do you like about them? And also a little discussion topic I'll lay out there for you guys. Let me know what is your favorite pair of Bo Jacksons. Uh, the whole, um, you know, all the Bo Jacksons that, you know, came out. Me, I have a bunch of pairs of Bo Jacksons. And, um, you know, as far as trainers, I think he came out with some pretty good ones. I have a bunch of pairs. I have a bunch of these SC highs just in different um, flavors and stuff like that. But um, let me know what your favorite Bo Jackson is, if you like Bo Jacksons. And um, as always, man, uh, I'm going to keep the videos coming. But till next time, you guys be cool. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And uh, always remember, copy what you like, not what they hype, and don't bite. Till next time, man, you guys be cool. Stay up. Peace.